So ever since Rick and I joined the team, uh, I brought more of like a tactical approach to the team because I basically think that for the most part, no matter how skilled your players are, if they're not put in right roles and they're not used properly, they're never going to be their best. So that's what I brought to the team. As far as Rick's concerned, he brought in a second op, a really, really strong second op, but also a very aggressive playstyle where he just does anything and he can do anything and he's very confident. So those are the two things I think that are a little bit different from the old one. Yeah, Rick likes not being the main op because there's no pressure. He prefers to have the second op because he can pick it up anytime he wants, but he doesn't have to have it every single round because he is a really, really good rifler as well. Like I said, he's a hybrid, probably the best hybrid I've ever played with. And he's also very confident with like any weapon. So if he can get the op, he likes it, but he prefers being a second op to Kenny. I think that we could do it pretty, pretty well at this event with this group. I think that for the most part, we could compete with anybody at this event. And I think we play Misfits first. So I don't know. I'm pretty sure they are missing two of their original core. They're missing their in-game leader and their main op. I think they just replaced Shazam. So that's unfortunate for them, but I think that's an advantage for us and we'll take what we can get. So as far as favorites are concerned, I would go with Cloud9 or Immortals. Both of those teams are pretty strong, and more importantly, they're very strong versus us. Immortals be beats us almost every time, and so does Cloud9, especially online. So both those teams are you know, hard for us to play against, so I hope we don't have to run into them. But if, the, if we do, you know, we have to beat them eventually, so hopefully it's this event. It's actually really difficult to play against Brazilians, mainly because they bring different playstyles. It's not necessarily just aggressive. It could be passive sometimes. But more importantly, it's their playmaking ability for all the players on the team. They're all very, very strong playmakers, and at random times, they'll just push a random part of the map and you know get information, and they'll know exactly what you're doing, and they'll be able to you know make a formulate a plan off of it. So in that sense, they're really, really good at overstacking because they get a lot of information all together as a team. And I think that's why it's so hard to play the Brazilian teams.